Paul, moving on now to a proud past and a promising future. That's how members of Frontier Cooperative describe the company as 2015 marks the company's 100-year anniversary. And joining us now is Randy Robeson. He is the general manager of Frontier Cooperative, and glad to have you here this morning. Thank you very much for the invite. You yeah. are very excited about what's happening in Frontier Cooperative. Yeah, so it's the 100th year of Frontier Cooperative, and maybe for those who don't know, maybe explain what you guys are and where you're located. Frontier Cooperative is a farmer-owned cooperative that is that supplies uh, rural America both to the agriculture and the communities uh, from fuel to fertilizer to handling grain to feed. So we are full supplies farmers cooperative that is owned by the farmer. Mm -hmm. And you have a number of locations, right? Yes, yeah. we have 23. 23 locations. 23 locations. We're actually going to show some video now of one of the locations in Soresco. Yes. And uh, the question I guess I have is there's plenty of history surrounding Frontier Cooperative. How did the business get started? In February of uh, 1915, which would make us 100 years, uh, 34 farmers got together and decided to form their own cooperative. Uh, a share was worth $100, and they, with the combination of those 34 guys, they put $25,000 in to start it. A year later, they built a uh, elevator that cost around $9,000, 32,000 bushel, and ran 270,000 bushel through it, which is amazing mm. in one year. Yeah. So a wonderful start for rural America, and now it's grown. Back then, the sales were like 500,000, and today they're over 400 million. Oh my gosh, wow, that's, that's amazing. A, that is yes. amazing. Well, yes. You know, I'm sure you have a big impact then on the community. Talk yeah, about that. Yeah. One of the things that a cooperative is here for just isn't for profit. It's to bring goods and services to communities that we need. We have fuel in towns of no more than 80 people. Uh -huh. uh, we have a large grain elevator and fuel. Those are things that the communities need. We also uh, employ people. We employ around 200 people in these 23 communities, which in turn raises families, which gives us children, which they have children, which helps our rural schools. And that's one of the biggest struggles in rural America is, is having the head counter. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. a, a population to support the local right. schools. Mm -hmm. Also, we're a very high uh, property taxpayer. In Butler County, we're the number one. Well, that's how our schools are supported in our counties and stuff. It's all a circle to do nothing but support rural America. And our successes came from our patrons. They understand the value of doing business locally because in turn it helps their communities mm -hmm. grow. And Randy, real quickly, you're celebrating. So how yes. are you going to celebrate? We're very excited. We are 100 years old. And in June 20th, we're going to have a party. Uh, it's a Bohemian area. And Brainerd is one of the, is the original, original town. And at that time, it was called, it was called uh, uh, Farmers Cooperative Company. It changed the frontier in 1991. We're going to have uh, uh, balloons, a meal, a polka band, because it's oh, Bohemian. Yeah. We always got to have polka band. <laughs> and then we're going to have helicopter rides and fireworks, and it will just be a great celebration from about 2 till 10. And uh, we're giving away a uh, Polaris side-by-side, uh, -side and, and a lot of our vendors are helping us to, uh, celebrate the 100 years that we're very, very proud of. Sounds like we'll have to go to that. We will, because yep. I'm part Czech, so I'm going to have to oh, be there. That'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be fine. Thank you for being you here. Bet. Thanks, Randy. <laughs>